Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Chris Time FK7. My name is Chris and I make videos of this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified every time I do post a video on the channel because I do post every Saturdays and Tuesdays. Now with that being said, today's video is going to be how to get wireless Apple CarPlay on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch or any 10th gen Civic that supports CarPlay or Android Auto. Let's go. This device in particular is called the AutoCast and I got it from Amazon for $129 and it's specifically designed to work with your Apple iPhone. So this device grants you access to wireless CarPlay. This does not work with Android Auto. Let's go ahead with the unboxing. Um, so this is what it looks like and it comes nicely packaged in this white box uh, and then on the back there's like a barcode taking off the plastic. take off the cover a couple cards from AutoCast so if you want to read that you can just pause the video a user manual which looks like this again if you want to read it uh, you can just go ahead and pause the video and this is what the device looks like itself so it's a little small box that you just basically plug into your car there's a USB port right there and then a USB-C port right here on top so there is a USB-C to USB-A connector and it's a pretty small one because you're going to be plugging this into your port where you plug in your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay <laughs> so if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button because once I hit 10k there's going to be another giveaway on this channel who knows what I'll be giving away it could be this device or I don't know, maybe last fit products. Um, but yeah, once I reach that 10K subscriber mark, I'll be doing another giveaway. So share this video with your friends and family, or even you, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified every time I do post a video on the channel because that video could be the giveaway video. So normally to engage in CarPlay, you need to plug in your iPhone with a wire. Like that. But with this device, this allows you to use CarPlay without this wire, so you can be wire free. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we are now inside the car and as you can see, I've already gotten the iPhone set up to use the Apple CarPlay wirelessly. So right now we are looking at, this is the cable for the iPhone and obviously it's not plugged in. And this device is streaming to this AutoCast and again, this only works for CarPlay. So only iPhones have the ability to use this uh, with this device. And just to prove that this is not a wallpaper, I'm going to go back to the home screen. And this is right here, it says Apple CarPlay. So basically all you have to do is just plug in the USB-C to the USB-C port on your AutoCast. And it's just simple as that. So I'm just going to plug it in just like that and then your car should be able to detect it. So right now it's red. So that means the car is still trying to detect this device. And now this automatically goes to this screen right here and it'll search whatever iPhone is near. Uh, so obviously this is my phone. So it automatically detected uh, that this iPhone is nearby and now we're using CarPlay. And then to prove it even more, as you can see, CarPlay is right there and it detects that Honda. So basically you get all the functionality that you would get on your regular Apple CarPlay. There is a slight lag. So if I were to go like this, there is just like a 0.5 millisecond lag. Um, Cause again, this is wireless and you're not even gonna notice it, especially while you're driving. So if you go on maps, it's still snappy, it's still fast. And as you can see, put my direction there and then let's test out Siri if this works. Hey Siri. Take me to the nearest McDonald's. The closest one I found is McDonald's on West Germantown Pike. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. So yeah, you get all the functionality. Um, you do get a slight lag, um, but it is really worth it if you really want to clean up that wires. So if you just want to get in the car and just start the engine and just have the car connected to the Apple CarPlay automatically without having to plug in your iPhone to a wire, uh, this is the way to go. This AutoCast is really uh, worth it, in my opinion, because you really get that nice 
extra functionality of having that wireless CarPlay in your car. That's pretty much it. This is just a wireless thing that you use for CarPlay. And I'm really happy about it because it really does clean up the wires because without this wireless adapter, you're gonna have to go like this every time you go in your phone or every time you go in your car just to connect uh, to your CarPlay. But with this, you have that ability to get rid of that cable and then you can just mount your phone right over here or wherever you keep it mounted um, or just leave your phone in your pocket and CarPlay would work just like how it would with the phone plugged in. So this is really a great product and for those of you who are looking for a wireless CarPlay alternative, this is the way to go because not only is it uh, inexpensive, but it actually works and it's easy to set up. So there you go. You get it from Amazon, two day shipping. Moving on to the end screen. All right, so my final thoughts on this product, it's really worth it. So this truly is a wireless adapter for CarPlay. Highly worth getting if you do have that stock infotainment system that does support CarPlay. So again, I just want to clarify, this product only works for Apple iPhone devices because this only supports Apple CarPlay and not Android Auto. If you want something for Android Auto, I will try to find that product uh, for specifically that Android Auto so that you can connect it wirelessly to your car. So that will be a future video. So yeah, I really do recommend this product. Not only is it inexpensive, you also get to cut your cables on the car. So you're not gonna have that wiry mess every time you do get in your car. Sure, you're, the downside is you're not gonna be able to charge your phone and then there is a slight delay, but that's fine. You're not even gonna notice the delay, uh, but the only real downside is not having to charge your phone. Um, so if you're going short trips from home to work, then this should be fine. But I really do highly recommend this product. And if you are interested in finding this product, I will be linking it down in the description. So be sure to check that out. All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video because I do read comments and I do try to respond to each and every one of you. Uh, and if ever you're looking for the link, I should be linking it down in the description. So if you wanna check that out, Again, this is a AutoCast from Amazon for $129. And also, if you're in the market for LED lights or floor mats for your car, be sure to check out LastFit's website because you can use my code CTFK7 for that 10% off. And that doesn't apply for just Hondas, it applies for each and every make and model of car. So go ahead, check out their website because their products are truly awesome. I installed them myself and you can check out my videos of installation and reviews. Again, use code CTFK7 for that 10% off. Also, I just recently made a Discord. I'm inviting each and every one of you to join that server. From the time of filming, there's already 200 members on that Discord server and every and most of you guys are active. Uh, so if you have any questions or if you wanna give out advice, that is the place to go. Uh, also, if you wanna share your builds as well because maybe in the future, I will be featuring your builds on the channel. So join the Discord. Again, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.